Hello everybody, so I just want to do a very quick video tutorial on how to record uh, vocals using GarageBand and how to make them sound as professional as you can using the built-in microphone of your MacBook. Now, I would recommend first of all taking the time to sit through and playing with all of the um, effects which you have in the real instrument section. Now this literally took me like five minutes so what I done was I came onto GarageBand, I started to talk, I started to sing and then I chose all four of the effects which I thought worked best with my voice and made my voice sound good. Now I will explain to you um, the reason why I chose these uh, as we go through the video. Okay, so first of all, um, you want to open up GarageBand as you've done already, most likely, hopefully. Uh, if you haven't, go and do it now. <laughs> uh, okay, so, and then secondly, you want to get some headphones or you can use your desktop monitors if you are using them um, and plug them into your computer. So when you've loaded up GarageBand and you've uh, and you've titled your project, um, then you'll come up with this main screen here. So you would most likely come up, first of all, in Browse. Now, if you have a setup already done, then I would recommend using that because you know how it works, you know what it's gonna sound like, and you know, uh, and you know that you're comfortable with it. Uh, if you haven't, then I would recommend doing that now. Literally, as I said um, at the start, it took, about, took me about five, 10 minutes just to come up with like the things that suited my voice the best. Okay, so once you've chose your setup and you've got everything ready, then you wanna put all of these effects on, which you most likely already have done because you know how it works and how and how you've how you've set them up because you know that it's comfortable with your voice. Um, so mine is remove deep bass. Now, as you can tell, I have quite a deep voice, so I wanted to remove most of the most of the deep bass from my voice when I sing. Um, compressor, I've chose vocal compression rock because uh, rock is my style and that's what suits my voice best and makes my voice sound nice. AU Dynamics Processor is something that I always use after I have recorded because you can mess about with all of these effects in here and it makes it sound really nice. Now my visual EQ is the vocal soft background which um, for the song that I'm going to be singing uh, is Ed Sheeran Kiss Me and for those of you that know this song it's a very com it's a very comfortable and really uh, really low really low sat down in voice song and I think this vocal soft back background really helps this now I chose 6% um, echo because uh, that's what I use on all of my tracks and it makes it sound nice uh, master reverb has somehow moved that to 22 so I moved that back down to 18% um, it's a little bit tricky when you're using a mouse that is rubbish. I'll just leave it at 19, it's absolutely fine. Uh, the noise gate, uh, I have at minus 26 dB. Noise gate is something that um, you can choose where you want it to be so that it only picks up your voice and doesn't pick up any other background noise that will either get in the way of your cover and it will make it sound rubbish. So like now I'm sitting in my, um, I'm currently sitting in my room and I and um, outside is a really busy main road, um, and there's cars and lorries flying up and down, and there's loads of noise, loads and loads of noise, which is which is something that I don't want in my covers. So minus 26 dB is absolutely brilliant for me. Now, um, if you haven't if you haven't set this up, then feel free to copy these. That's absolutely fine. I don't mind at all. So I just run through it again. Minus 26 dB noise gate, uh, remove deep bass, uh, vocal compression rock. Uh, this one you can play with when you finish recording. Visual EQ, vocal soft back background, master echo 6%, master reverb uh, 18 or 19%. Once you've copied these, that's absolutely fine. Click save. It's going to ask you to save it. You can name it vocal cover setup if you'd like. Click save. If you've already done this, which I have, then it's going to ask to replace. So, yeah, I want to replace it. That's done. Right. And then you are ready to record. But one more thing before you do. When you're on this window, click over onto Browse. Now, switch on your monitor. Um, I probably already said this at the start of the video, but because I'm rubbish at remembering things, I forgot. So, I'm using headphones. 
So I have them currently plugged into my computer and I can hear everything that I'm saying back and singing back to me, which is a really great way of knowing if you're in the right key, um, how all of these effects that you've chosen sound when you sing and if it suits your voice. If not, then you can come back and swap these around and play with them more. Um, and it's just a really great way of hearing yourself back and also really, really good to get comfortable with that as well. Okay, so when you're ready, you can press record. Obviously, I'm going to be doing Ed Sheeran Kiss, Kiss Me. Um, I have a karaoke version of the track. Um, oh, sorry about that. I just accidentally dropped out. Um, so if I play that now, you can hear that it's just going to be the track without any vocals on it. I'll skip it on a little bit more to when the vocals would come in, which will be around about uh, after this bar or so. And then I'll come in there. Settle down with me and cuddle me up and cuddle me in. Lie down with me and hold me in your arms. Now, as you can see um, from that little section there, it's a very soft song. So, yeah, um, once you've recorded, let me just um, skip it over to there and then I will record a little bit for you and then I will show you what I mean by the master track. Um, let's do this. Settle down with me and cover me up and cuddle me in lie down with me and hold me in your arms and there you go, that's a little bit there and it's nice and easy um, I don't know what this is going to sound like if I play it back to you guys but um, as you can tell, obviously, I've got this set up to what I think sounds nice, so. Settle down with me And cover me up And cuddle me in Lie down with me And hold me In your arms now, I think that sounds quite nice. So, one more thing just to go through. So, over here on this part of the screen, you've got track volumes. Now, I've got my actual vocals set to minus 6 dB, which is nice because when I sing high, it doesn't start to peak, um, which is not what you want because then when it peaks, it starts to distort your voice and doesn't sound very nice. Now, the track volume that I've got down here for the actual track that I'm singing along to is just a standard uh, 2.4 dB um, which I think sounds nice and works nice with how I'm recording so now once you've done the little bit or once you've done your whole vocal cover click on over to master track um, click on to edit uh, now echo wise I've left that manual because on the real instrument you've got a little bit of echo set up and that sounds absolutely fine reverb of I've, I've clicked on small club because I quite like the sound of the reverb which that gives, but obviously um, everyone has a different sounding voice, everyone sings it differently, men sing different to girls, girls sing different to men and all that lot, so that's how that works. But I think Small Club uh, works absolutely fine for this. Now, the last three down here, which I'll quickly talk, talk about, you've got Visual EQ, Compressor and Ducker. Now, you're probably thinking, how comes i got to do Visual EQ and Compressor again when I've already done them down here? Well, in the real instrument, um, compressor and visual EQ on the real instrument is what you're hearing through your headphones when you're when you're actually um, recording yourself singing and then when you click onto master track visual EQ and compressor is what everyone else is going to hear when you've when you've finished recording and you've saved the track and you've sent it to your friends your family you've stuck it up on YouTube or whatever uh, that's what everyone's going to hear and that's what's going to make it sound nice. Now for me, vocal soft background works brilliant. I kept that the same as what I have in Real Instrument and Compressor, I kind of nearly kept it the same. So on Master Track, I've chose Rock Wall, which I think sounds lovely. 
Now, Ducker, I'm not too sure what this actually does, so I'm not going to try and explain it. All I'm going to say is, is that it, it is a very fun thing to play with. Now, I would recommend switching it on when you finish recording and just seeing what this can actually do to your um, the voice and your nice sounding vocal cover. Now, that's it really. Um, it's nice and sim simple. It's really, really easy. I'm sorry if this uh, tutorial was a little bit longer than you'd e expected, but I hope you've learned something from it. And I hope that um, I've kind of made it easy for you to understand how to record vocal covers using using GarageBand. Um, if you would if you would like to contact me, see what I mean by all that, all that sound coming through. That was ridiculous. Um, anyway, um, if if you would uh, if you would like to con contact me about anything else, and that's fine. Um, I'll put my e email address in the description, my Twitter, and my fa Facebook. Also, um, if you are using the same um, effects as me, that's absolutely fine. Um, also, I would I would love to hear them. Um, I would love to hear all of the vocal covers which you guys do. So. Um, don't hesitate to send them over to me if you would like to. If not, that's absolutely fine. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope you've learned something today.